Hey guys, welcome to another episode of The Bow Show. It's The Bow Show, baby. Today, I have a very special guest, captain of our Winnipeg Jets, my boy, Mr. Blake Wheeler. Wheels, thanks for coming on the show, buddy. Thanks for having me, guys. Shankly, Shankly and Wheeler. Shankly and press to Wheeler. Wheeler back in. Twenty-six goals each of your last three seasons, consistent. You do realize though that your jersey number is not your cap. You know that. I know. I'm, I'm, I should change my number to forty. <laughs> I was even thinking forty-six. Yeah, yeah, even something like that. Maybe what? fifty. Maybe, yeah, maybe so fifty. We can go to sixty too. <laughs> <laughs> Easy team move. Yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> March fifth, twenty twelve. You come off the ice. And Sarah Orleski is waiting there for you. Do you know where this is going? I do. <laughs> the TSN crew goes, Hey, Wheels! Hey! Hey! Can we get a sec? Hey, Wheels! Hey! Can we get a sec? And you finish the interview with... Thanks, man. <laughs> thanks, man. Thanks so much for coming out and doing this lightning. All right, thanks, man. Lady. Sorry. <laughs> If the boys bug you about that, or what do they say? Thanks, man. Well, just it's, it's, yeah, it's one of those things where, you know, in passing, if you just, like, you know, you, you just kind of have, like, token responses, and that's kind of one of my wheelhouse ones. Yeah. So, she got it. <laughs> she got it. You were drafted out of Breck High School, fifth overall in 2004 to Arizona. What's it like being the big dog in the halls of Breck High because for me, River East High School, I was projected second round. Yeah. I was projected. But you know how those things work. Yep, projections, man. Projected. Yep. Uh, I, big dog, I don't know. You know, I, uh, I don't remember it that way too much. You know, we had some big, we had some big dogs in, uh, in Breck School, Golden Valley, uh, yeah. Minnesota. Yeah. My, but, wife, my wife went there, so she thought I was pretty cool. <laughs> so I fooled her. But is it true? that you like the CFL better than the NFL as an American boy. This is a rumor that I've heard. Maybe I haven't heard it, but I'm just trying to pump the CFL. Do you like the CFL better than the NFL? Fake, fake news. <sighs> okay. Fake news. No, punting on third down is just, uh, that's like, <laughs> nothing makes me more upset. Sec second and 10, I mean, it's just a death sentence. Th this, is a, this is a sensitive subject, you know, <laughs> the, CFL, the CFL talk. Yeah, I know. I've had these discussions and... Uh, I just can't. I, 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 I've agreed to disagree on many, many times. Well, we'll agree to disagree. I like <laughs> right. that. The coolest guy on the Winnipeg Jets. Who is the cool? Who's the coolest? Who, who's got like the most swag or like the most? I don't know. Whatever. The coolest guy. Josh Morrissey. Yeah. Young Gun. Young Gun. Really? He's, yeah, he's my boy. Uh, yeah, you, he, he, he's just a cool dude. Yeah. Yeah. I like, I like Jamo. 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 Who's the best cook on the team? The guy who can cook up a mean fettuccine alfreds before a game. A little fettuccine alfreds, maybe a little chicken, a couple I mushrooms. I don't know if anyone cooks on the team. No way. Because you got, oh yeah, oh. There's no way. Most of us have wives, and then the rest of, uh. the, rest of the guys order, uh, skip the dishes probably. <laughs> 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 so if we're being honest, so um, yeah. I don't know if I've had anyone's cooking. Yeah. Sorry. Ah, that's fine, that's fine. <laughs> We asked Buff who, this. Who, who could order skip the dishes the best? I've heard Adam Lowry's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> he's a great orderer. He's great. He's, he's a great. There, he's on there every night so much that I think he actually has like some kind of uh, sponsorship from him. Who's the best dancer on the team? Think, think of the guy who can get down with it. Yeah, or, who, who can boogie a little bit is uh, is Shife. He he can get down a little bit. He's got moves, eh? Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. I wouldn't have seen it. I was because because kind of like, kinda like I, geeky moves, but like they're good. Sometimes you can judge by a guy's goal celebrations. Okay. Your goal celebrations, you go into like hunchback mode, and it's like your thing like this, like sometimes, and it's like this, your stick back here, big goal, and it's like this, one foot stop. All right, boys, bring it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because you're not a big Sally, you're not a big Sally guy. I used to be a big Sally guy. I got so I got in so much uh, grief at home from some of my celebrations from my wife that I just kind of I dialed her back a little bit. 
Yeah. I left some of my teammates in the wake a few times. and <laughs> <laughs> so just, That's the worst. Yeah, I, back. I, I got did it to Brian Little this year one time, too, and it was great. Not Litzy. Yeah. Not Litzy. Litz always kind of gets just, just put to the side for some reason. And Buff, made, Buff made a nice pass, so I was trying to find him, and Litz came to celebrate first, and I kind of kind of sidestepped him. It was good. Oh, how pretty is that? Wow, Blake Wheeler finishes it off. You walk out to Line A's 04 Corolla. <laughs> you guys walk out to this car, and, and you're with Matthew Perot, and Line A's goes, boys, I'm driving. Burger King, on me, Whopper Wednesday. Let's go. Cheap, cheap burger day, let's do it. Yeah. And you say, okay, we don't play till Friday, let's do it. You and Matty, you and Matty Perot go. You guys, hey, hey, they go like this. Hey, go to open the front, the front door, but both your hands are there. Who gets shotgun? I'd open the door and let, and I'd do like the seat thing, and I'd open it because he's got a two-door car apparently, and you know, help him get in the back seat <laughs> <Yeah>. and then <laughs> sit it back for him. I'm a gentleman. Look at that. I'm a gentleman. It's captain things. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let's change up the situation though. You and Buff. What if you and Buff go in the front, in the front? And maybe Buff's the kind of guy who, you know, he likes to, he likes to push you guys around sometimes. Yeah. So what if he's pushing you around? What if you want to, you know what? Sometimes Captain guys stand up. They got to say, you know what? Buff, enough's enough. I'm taking shotgun for Whopper Wednesday. And is this is still Lion A's car? Is this still, uh, yes. Lion A's in the backseat. <laughs> <laughs> Buff's driving. If you could go, if you were on an island, and you had two things. What would it be? I forget what I told Buff, but I mean, for me, it'd be, I'm a big guy. Yep. Like, you're, we got you stand, you got your raised up shoes today. Yep. So you're a little tall, like, you're a little tall, you got your raised up shoes on. Yep. But. I think it's sloping a little bit. Too. We're sloping here too. For sure. If, and I work out like you wouldn't believe. Right. But. Especially this morning. <sighs> Except for this morning. Missed the morning. Well, and last week, too. I missed a couple. Okay. But with, listen, when, if you're on an island, for me, it'd be a Bowflex. Okay. For one of my things. And maybe a bag of Boom Chicka Pop popcorn. Okay. A kernel a day. What, what, what's it for you? Ooh. Uh, I'd start with, it's got to be food related because I don't go along without eating. So um, I'd probably go with water. Okay. Maybe sparkling water. I like sparkling water. Okay. Can it be cold? Oh, heck, you can be whatever you want to be. Okay, cold sparkling water. Um, and then a Chipotle burrito. Huh. Because that's a lot of, like, it's kind of cheating because there's a lot of things in a Chipotle burrito, but, like... From Chipotle? Uh, yeah. Wait. You didn't, you didn't, I mean, you asked me two things on an island. True. Chipotle burrito Tom. and cold sparkling water. You realize... My, this is a nice island. <laughs> <laughs> you realize that you put sparkling water and a Chipotle burrito ahead of your wife? So, okay. <laughs> My initial thought was like, so I have three kids. Yeah. Oh, so you... Oh. That's tough. So, someone, so someone's on the chopping block. Right. So I couldn't do that. And no. then if I take my wife, then who's taking care of the kids? So if I'm on an island, I got to keep them together, push them aside. I'll take my sparkling water and my burrito. It would have been nice to get maybe, maybe a cell phone so I could have called That's them. another captain thing. Or FaceTime. Another captain. You just keep racking up these things. Yeah. Captains, captains, captains. Things that captains do. Right. You got to be dialed in at all times. No sleeping. On the Talk job. about the man <laughs> here. Who is your favorite show host? Oh, man. I don't know if I watch any shows that I... No, no, no. I know. I have to answer the question. No. Wait. I know, I know. Say what you really think. <laughs> I'm trying to think about what I really think. I know you want me to say you, but I'm trying to... <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're looking for. I'll go with Bo. Okay. Well, wasn't expecting that. Blake Wheeler, Winnipeg Jets captain. Very consistent year in, year out. And we are looking forward to watching you play this year. Thanks for coming on the show, man. Thanks for having me, man. Right Appreciate on. It. And thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of The Bow Show. It's The Bow Show, baby.